G'day, g'day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, 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 first interview. Now listen up, bedwetters. Oh, oh for fuck's sake! Great start. Jeez, you phones are off. Great start. Rattled fucking like. rattled. We've got a bit of a special app this morning, or whenever the fuck it is <laughs> that we release this. Uh, this is basically Lulu, our first episode where we've had proper guests on. Yeah. So it's a bonus app. This is a bit of a bonus episode. Now, these two roosters, I've become good mates with. Just over the last, what, fucking... Th- well, this year, yeah, I this suppose. Year, yeah. this, year. this year, since UFC. Um, there's a few of you that definitely have heard of them. There's probably a few bedwetters that haven't. Um, we've got Tommy and Cam here from the Alpha Blokes podcast. Thank you, Tommy, for repping the We Mean Well hat. That's yes. right, mate. Cambosis. Yeah. And the Alpha Blokes With podcast With a Von Zipper. T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So these boys, these boys have run a fucking pretty steady operation over the last... How long have you boys been doing it? Two years, yeah, it was been a couple of years, hasn't yeah. it? From your couple birthday of years. in August, so I think a bit over two years. Yep. So they've kicked up, uh, kicked off a podcast. There's, they've been incredibly successful. They've grown it, fucking quite exponentially. Um, go and give it a listen because it's an absolute fucking ripper. Very funny. Probably on par with us, Lulu. In terms of funniness. Oh, of funniness. Funniness. Like yeah. on par or? Let's say we mean well. So. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit yeah, of a, yeah, yeah, yeah okie doke. Um, but it's a great potty and I've loved it. I know a lot of people who love it. And this is our fir- this is a big deal for us because yeah. it is our first fucking interview. Oh, it's not really going to be an interview. It's probably just going to be an absolute <laughs> shit show. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Beautiful. Which is what both of us do. Correct. Yeah. So it's going to work well. So for those that, that don't, just let's, let's yarn to the people who may not know who you boys are. Run us through a bit of an overview of the potty. Yeah, I want to know that as well. Like how it started. How, how it started. Happened, yeah, what the fucking, I guess the gist of it is mm. as a whole. I want audience numbers, demographics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get granular. Let's get into Mate, it. It is literally just an excuse for Cam and I to catch up and get on the piss. Okay. Because we, we, yep. we fucking worked opposite rosters. We had one day off a fortnight together. Yep. And we never saw each other at all and fucking went. Did our apprenticeships together, lived in Canada together for seven months. Yep. Come back, worked in the mines together. Yep. And we're yeah. like, fuck, we never see each other. And then we both love podcasts, so it just sort of happened that we're like, tax return time, boom, let's buy the kit, let's sit in your shed, get fucking blind and yarn. <laughs> How fucking good is that? <laughs> like, that <laughs> is dream. honestly... Yeah. It's like a fucking Batman origin story. <laughs> but it's, it's like, like also anyone's dream. You know how everyone's always like with their best mate, they're like, oh, we should start a podcast, podcast kind right. of thing. But like you've actually done it and it's actually mm. worked. And it was a good excuse for the missus. We had to have a mic in front of us to pretty much hang out. Yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah, true. Yeah. So. Yeah, but right, if we had something to do, it's together. like, oh, no, we've got to, got to record we got, the podcast. Yeah, got to catch up. Got to, yeah, we've got to and record. And I can't drive home. I've had a, I had a, had a couple of beers. Just yeah. fucking. <laughs> there was a few sleepovers. <laughs> Pass out of the podcast. Yeah, we got paro there. early days, eh? Hey? Oh. It was like I think because you're nervous and you've never done it before, so you had to just drink. To I sort think of, like yeah, a bit of Dutch courage. Think the yeah. Second or third episode, I think we got 35 minutes through and it just went stop. We're doing that again. We will get absolutely put in jail. D- yeah. Did ya? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, what the first step? Big fella had ripped into a few. No, I, I think this might have been second or third. Got one, uh, of boy, one of our mates around. And just go. I was like passed out under the table while we were recording. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know when I was in Europe and I took all the podcast gear over there? There's this one episode that I had gone out like basically all night and I'd woken up like 100% still drunk. And you, the videos, my eyes are just like so puffy. Like I order room (laughs) service and I'm like eating these baby sausages, like. So drunk still. Yeah, it was yeah. You ordering that brekkie, I seen yeah. that. That was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, can I please get some peanut butter? And then I'm like, she's like, is this just for um two people? I was like, no, just for one. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, just for one, one was the biggest fucking pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah, for, awesome. for two people. But it's funny, like early days because we were on the piss like proper, and that because we never started it ever to be a job or to make money or anything. We're just yeah. like, fucking, let's have some fun. Yeah. So, like, a lot of people comment now going, fucking bring us back to like it was, but it's like, bro, we can't just get fucked up every day. Yeah. No, you, well, you can't. <laughs> you, yeah, you can't. You know, and we drive to work and you got to do other shit and there's a lot of more things involved, but that, I think our episode 200 rolling around, so we're going to get wrestled on it. Is it? Yeah. 200. How yeah. many do you guys do a week? 
So we do we do two, two a week yeah. Yeah. of the definites. So like we have a normal one, we have the trend set of talk back one, same as the Bedwetter hotline, you yep. know, yep. people yep. ring in. And then all the guests we do, like every couple of weeks, we'll just drop a bonus guest yep. episode. It's yeah. fucking. It's a good way to do it. Mm. But what it's, I reckon, I love it, mate, because it it is a great, it's a great story. And for those that don't know, there's also an underlying element of mental health, mm. which is important to you boys. Because I know I've heard you talk about it, just like in terms of the anxiety you'd get when you were going like that night before going back into the fucking mines. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And getting that. So was that. Was that something that you had planned to do early on or did it naturally just occur just by fucking, the more you did it, the more it's, people talked about it? We were just it. talking about our struggles during the week, I think. Yeah, yeah. Just mm-hmm. sort of yeah. letting each other know, going, oh, fuck, that was a shit week. Mate, yeah. there was not one time at the start where like, we're starting a mental health podcast. No. Not, True. Not at yeah. all. True. It just happened that we'd fucking make each other laugh. we talk about the shit we were going through when we were out at work and stuff like that. That related to every other fucker. Who was out at work yeah. doing the same thing, Hunter. and then we sort of talk about how having a yarn to each other makes us feel better, have a fucking laugh, yeah. listen to cunts jokes, all this sort of shit, you know, it's and and it just sort of formed into that, and we sort of just went, all oh, right, oh well, if we can make everyone else have a laugh and maybe get through a twelve-hour shift sitting in a fucking truck, then it's going to help them a bit, isn't it? Well, see, Lou, this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing, cowgirl. <laughs> so that anxiety of going back to work, yeah, okay. Because those boys work hard. Yeah, I know where this is going. Now, buddy, you always claim to be a hard, hard worker, mm. right? Don't you think that's probably hard work? And well, what you Jack, do is it was the same as when I'd be going to sleep with Breakfast Radio in the morning. You worked you in see? Breakfast Radio, didn't I you? I worked in Breakfast Radio. Right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks and for I, had to, that up. I had to Thanks get up at, that up at 3.45 in the morning. So, you know, I know that anxiety of falling asleep and oh, having to got wait for an alarm. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah I could have been a baker if I wanted to. What time are you starting? 4.30, I had to be there. Yeah, Probably not as hard work as what you guys that's, were doing. That's oh, but yeah, but she's knocked off at but, nine. But the other thing but is, too. fucking nine. Like, don't you raise don't your voice. You. <laughs> in front of our guests, please. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, we've got guests in the building. Don't you, Senor Ricky. It's like a, very um, naughty, aren't you? It's like a fucking, um, like when you watch your friend's parents fight. Yeah. yeah. You, if you're over at a yeah. mate's house and their parents start fighting, you're like, just Jesus fucking, fucking Christ. <laughs> And then they do. They go. Sorry, sorry, not in front of Bruce. Yeah, we won't fight in front of you boys. Oh, sorry, that's all right, mate. Go for it. Sorry. Um, where were we? I don't fucking know. Breakfast radio. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, back in the day. No, nah, yeah, we just had to be there at four thirty, and I didn't leave at nine mm. because I was the guest booker as well. So if they would come to me and be like, "We want the boy whose arm got eaten by a shark today in the river," I'd have to be chasing down that parent or whatever. Yeah. Like she was the night. guest booker. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to make that very clear. But you're like, talk about hard work and stuff, and you go, it took me so long, right, in my head to process that hard work doesn't need to have fucking blisters on your hands and yeah. be absolutely rooted. Well, mate, yeah. I agree with you. And <clears throat> and this would be hard for some people. This yeah, would be some people's worst nightmare chatting on a microphone. But, like, this is, this, is the, yeah, this is the fun part, though. Like, yeah. it's the whole fucking week leading up, making sure you're going to have an hour's worth of entertaining shit yeah. to have, yeah. all the stuff and deals you got planned, events you got going on. Like, this is hard work mentally yeah, yeah, and yeah. constantly mm. being, but it's fun because you're building your own shit. Yeah. Exactly right. I reckon yeah. that's fucking the most important part of it is, is like, this is our, it's like our thing. Your mm. guys' thing is your thing. I, I reckon. It's like a new. Baby. Run me through that, bud. Well, it's like... You're invested in it, aren't you? I'm, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine when you give... No. But remember, you're a sociopath. <laughs> you hate anything. You hate everything. Don't. So I don't hate everything. I love everyone. Give the boys a hug. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. Hates physical touch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that much. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll give... I'm giving them a hug. No, go on. Give us a hug. Will give us a... Right no, no, oh. there we go. Look at this. Oh, look at this that. isn't that awkward. Way, look how non-awkward yeah, she is, yeah, boys. Do you hate touch, <laughs> DLA? <laughs> Makes it a big thing that I hate people touching me. I just don't like anyone touching me in bed, and I'm not much of a hugger. And I'm, yeah, in you know? bed. Yeah, which like makes if, it if I sleep with someone fellas. in my bed, I'll need maybe like ten seconds of cuddling, and then I'm like, "Fuck off! I don't even want to know you're in the bed. Like, don't even breathe." I'm half with you. In saying yeah. that, though, I do the old snuggle at the start, and then I'll fucking roll to the side, yep. warm, go to sleep, and I might fucking roll back over for a little fucking snuggle, little snug way through. But it's not mm. just like the yeah. Whole but time. I reckon mm. you've got. 
you've got maybe ulterior intentions with some of those snugs there, Brad. Oh. Well, you'd be right. Me and my wife. <laughs> I'd be dead right. She's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my wife uh, were at the casino state there the other day. Yeah. And it was like um, the two double beds. And we just went high five and we're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, that's you know, we're like, Go your separate ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is fucking awesome though. Oh, it's like great. you've got to take advantage of that sort of shit. Yeah. How long have you been together for? Oh, <laughs> oh fuck Great well, answer we'll, yeah, we'll uh, great When are we back from Canada 2017 It'd be about then Shit man uh, I've been almost married a year Okay help. Yeah yeah That helps I think five, five, five years Five odd years yeah. yeah mate you get to a stage five Where it's like six. Fuck me What yeah, about you and Bet? Oh fucking about a year less than then True Gotcha mm. You both get to a married? stage where it's yeah. fucking Both married yes you yeah, married like, four kids, fucking full on at uh, the Dahl household. Hundred <laughs> percent, it is, mate. <laughs> yeah. How was um Father's Day? Unreal, brass. Was it fucking awesome? What mate. did you do? Um, I got a smoker, so I got mm. a fucking Fuck yes. got a new smoker. They're great. Yeah, yeah, great. So set that up. Um, yeah, just spent time with the fucking kids. It was awesome. Cute. You know, leading up, I fucking spun this yarn on about three other things, but that's right. Yeah, the um. Went to the Father's Day day where you go and like they give you all the stuff, you know that they make like little key rings and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, they had an egg and spoon race at the at the Father's Day thing. Twenty plus dads just chewing to win. And you and took it out. Took it out. So competitive. Yeah, daddy won. Your yeah, daddy won. Yeah. That's a hard thing to win as well. Fuck you got to have a steady hand. And you had to for hold that. your kid in one hand and oh, yeah, egg while and spoon running. Mate, fucking good effort. Was there any foul play? You elbow anyone out of the way? Oh, well, foul play from them. They put me in a fucking shit barrier. I had oh. a pole right in front of me, so I had to just get the whole shot and pin out in front of old mate. <laughs> you fucking yeah. Uber. yeah, but yeah, got it done. It, it was good. So you got a bit of pace about you, mate? Oh, off the mark. After about 10 metres, I go to shit. About cooked. Mm. So like footy, if I make a break, I'm just fucking looking. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. So with the potty, with everything that's going on, mm. and I mean, it's an immense amount of success you've had with it, where do you want to take it? So where, where, do, you, well, where do you see it going and, like, where do you want to end up with it? I want to keep talking to cool people. Yeah. Cool people and build yeah. businesses off the back of it. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We do toe the line a bit, so yeah, we'll just see how it all goes. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> but mate, honestly, like the, the amount of people that we've met throughout the whole experience has been fucking insane. Huh. Like yeah. you actually sit back and look at the people you've talked to, but not just that, on trips like when we went to UFC Perth, bumped into you now, yeah, we're mate. fucking great, mate. Fucking so, yeah. mate. Blokes like Knuckles, Buster Kirby, fucking yeah. so many people that I've met throughout this whole experience yeah. has been fucking awesome it's unreal so, eh? so just that and everyone's like-minded and happy to help each other out which yeah. i think's unreal like you look at radio stations or tv stations they're fucking fighting against each oh, other oh yeah you wouldn't you yeah. can't use someone else's studio if you're yeah. from nova and you work it today yeah, yeah. it's just not a thing and my biggest thing is it's like there's fucking seven days in a week 24 hours in a day like how, how many episodes did the People put out a week, max three maybe, mm. that mm. go for an hour and a bit. There's fucking heaps of time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah there like is. It's yeah. all about the old um, raising tide lifts all ships. Mate, I'm with you. That's what I loved about you guys as well <clears throat> is it was like when we first met over there, it was sort of just like, fuck, we're pretty like-minded. <laughs> and that's why we've said, Lou, like we fucking hate these – those fucking influencer events and shit. We get yeah. invited, a lot of that sort of shit. And you go there, mate, and you'll have people that will fucking – bypass you until someone says something to them then they come back with smiles mm. and you're like don't fucking smile at me now can't yeah. oh, you I don't have a field day, do you know what i mean <laughs> like and it's just disingenuous yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. real whereas this sort of shit where we've built real friendships yeah and like everyone's doing their own thing and we're all trying to hype each other up i reckon it's fucking grouse it's yeah. great and i i respect people a lot too when they're just like you yourself on the show Mm. Some people may not like you, but that's like you are. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. You just, then you don't have to fucking turn it on when yeah. you're on the microphone and then all of a sudden be someone else. That you're just yourself no matter what. Well, you haven't got a boss. Worst. Yeah. Because, like, I, I just reckon so many people would do, like, radio and stuff where it's like they've got this persona and, like, perception of who they've got to be on yeah, the microphone. Yeah, like a narrative they've got different. to push or whatever. Fuck that. It's mm. different. We're Couldn't pretty jump lucky. jump in with bloody word vomit. Yeah. Or anything like that, could you? Not really, dull. Like, no. it's that. that's where I reckon we're pretty lucky. Yeah, for sure, mate. And ke getting to come, like, we're from CQ, like we said, 
Um, getting to come here, you fuckers are spoiled rotten with the people watching you get. <laughs> From <laughs> fucking after breakfast to here, five mad cunts I saw. Oh, what do I, you mean? Like in- they, they were like a one-town psycho back home. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll take yeah. my bum the Uber driver going, mate, we only got like Look, one of them. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, Johnny yeah. Depp on crack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Past, <laughs> and I'm fucking this other cunt, cunt steaming past in a Jack Daniel shirt. Southern Cross hat on the arm. I reckon he would have done 30k already. <laughs> Mate, just oh, hooning. Dude. dude, this bloke while we are waiting for the Uber was sitting out the front. He looked like such a normal bloke. He had Woolies bags and shit. He was having a yarn with a pole, like just proper, <laughs> yeah. just, 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 fu- and he's aggressively just too, like half it. sort of shadow. <laughs> oh, true. And I'm going, I was just staring. I couldn't help it. I was like a, a child staring, going, what the fuck? And then and, the window washer. And uh, Quino <laughs> goes, um, oh, no, he's got an ear. He must have an earphone in. I went, oh, right. I turned around. No. Nah. No if I Just straight to the pole. Yeah. See, well, maybe we're fucking used to it. Yeah. Giving out free window washers. Yeah. Uh, oh, my, yeah. The ginger. Oh, my, steamed across. Ginger bloke with a big ratty on the on the yeah. windows. And then oh my, he looks in one window and he goes, I haven't got anything. And goes, oh, you're right, mate. I'll give you a freebie. <laughs> and just like <laughs> and I lost it. They're so friendly. Uh, Josh uh, always gives them money as well. Yeah. What, what they, they want? Yeah. Anything. You could give them a cigarette or. Hey, yeah, at least yeah. they're hustling. At least yeah. they're not fucking just sitting there begging with a cup. See, that's my kind of thing. I'm like, at least, least they're up and about doing something like yeah. that. Earns a fucking couple of bucks in my book. But <laughs> where's probably you? Of- I thought you meant. I thought you meant like the birds. Because, like, when I was working on the oh. sheep station back in Wilker, I'd fucking damn near kink my neck when I got back to Sydney because I forgot what it was like here. Just Especially oh. around the traps. The, well, everyone's just so hot. Yeah. The blokes and yeah. the birds around Especially here. around the east. Oh, mate, because everyone needs to be in good nick and whatever. Mm. And so I'd come back from the fucking farm and I'd been working with <laughs> blokes that look like us. Yeah, yeah. Like covered <laughs> hey, in... Po- been put out of the so bike chain. Well, you know, I'm just saying covered Senior in shit, retail. sweaty fucking blokes everywhere. Yeah, heads yeah. like pain as radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Correct. a half-sucked manga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then come back here and I'd just be like, holy fucking dooly. And I'd just like... But, yeah. Started getting neck problems. It is good, mate. People watching is one of my favourite things to do. I love it, mate. Like, as in, if you're feeling hungover or something, head to a food court. It's like a fucking water hole in Africa. Oh, mate, just yeah. all the critters just come in. <laughs> Sydney CBD is great critters. for that. Where great. You're staying. It's Perfect. just fucking entertaining. And you're not pointing and laughing. You're just sitting there. Just no. fucking Having a brow. Oh, there's no yeah. judgment, mate. Huh? It's just you're simply watching. Mate, there are, the world is a better place when them in it. I It'd agree. It'd be so vanilla and boring if those mad tripping cunts weren't cruising around. Mate. Remember that bloke in the plane yesterday with his hat? And it was like this the whole time. Like a quarter pot. <laughs> Fucking, wasn't it? We're going, <laughs> holy fuck. This bike's on. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, mate, it's, if you really want some good people watching jump on Sydney trains. Mm. No, thanks. Because you'll always start. just be sitting there and there'll always just be a bloke going, you fucking, you get the one in freaking... Off climb mountains, off <laughs> climb mountains, and you fucking, what are you looking at? And you go, on, and you just like, this is fucking red hot. Yeah. Keep going, no, but Jimmy. you're also seeming a bit scared as well. They're going to come over and like, you know, they always sort of have someone that they might yeah, attack. Yeah, most of them are pretty well, that, that is the only thing that you worry about. Like, we've got a couple of local trippers at home, old yeah. Ange and fucking Tony Pepperoni, but you know, we, got, you know, but we know, we know that they're harmless, right? So mm. it is funny. You can just sit there yeah. and go, ah, oh, it's just fucking Ange, you know, flies oh, yeah. into the emergency room. Anyone got any drugs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then literally, yeah, the chick behind the counter just pops her head out. Time to go, in. He goes, right. He just fucks off. Happy but everyone's Larry. like, oh, it's just Ange. But here, all those fucking weapons, you don't really know if they are harmless Pulling or not. They're going to stab you in the neck. Correct. <laughs> yeah. that, is, that is true. Well, I see yeah. stuff like that on TikTok all the time overseas. What? Which is like crazy people mm. doing shit. Tell you where there are a lot of trippers in crazy America. Crazy people doing shit. Oh, definitely over there. <laughs> Fuck me, swinging. They're nuts over there in America. Like down on mm. Venice Beach. I went to fucking America a few years ago. They all the homeless live on like Venice Beach. Dude, how crazy! Santa Monica yeah, Pier, Santa isn't it? Monica, all, yeah. all that. That's crazy, isn't it? It's actually fucking pretty wild. Yeah. Because it's hot, nice climate. It's nice down there, but it's just honestly, it's a homeless city now. It is, bro. I've never been to it. It wasn't too bad that morning when we had that layover there. Yeah. But yeah, it must be like later in the hour. They just come across out. the grass, man. They're spread everywhere. I swear, two of them were dead. Like, oh, like, true. Like, well, they probably weren't, but they were fucking very still. And fucking... <laughs> just a big very, They looked stiff as well. Very but, still. Like, they're just scattered, eh, across the grass. Mate, it's pretty wild. Fuck. If, uh, so, boys, you are CQers, Central Queenslanders. Mm. Mm. For those of... Maybe even you don't know this, Lulu. 
they call us dad kisses. This is dad kissing country because they reckon we all kiss our dads on the lips. Just Sydney or? New South Wales. New South Wales. Oh, New South right. Yeah, a stat came out early days. What was the stat? Uh, I think it was 98% of New South Welshmen kiss their dad on the lips is and 80% right? sit to piss or something. Is and <laughs> we just, we just, we just. <laughs> Wait, 80% what? Sit, sit to, to piss. piss. Blokes. So Blokes. Just, yeah, Blokes. it's crazy, eh? We that's for yeah. shedding only. Yeah, that's correct. Right. It, was a, it was a full on, full on study that we um, was <clears throat> we did. Um, oh, you conducted the study? No, we, it was a full on one. But it, yeah, anyway, it's just funny, mate, because I don't remember getting <laughs> surveyed. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. odd. Oh, it is odd. You yeah. guys yeah. made the stats. Yeah, we just there, made yeah. it up. Welcome yeah. to the party, yeah. sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, we we still kiss their dad at four years old. Yeah, yeah. someone goes, everyone kissed their dad when they were little. I said, fucking oath. We just stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you Whereas said, well, we I'm continued it. No, but every time I see that, I'm like, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> As if you would do that to oh, your I'd dad. be ducking punches. But look, like, it was one yeah. of those things that we just did because it's the whole state of origin. Yeah, New yeah. South yeah. Wales, Queensland, we're closer than any other state, but we fucking hate each other at state of origin time. So it's about bringing that banner like you would with one of your best mates. Yep. We just made that stat up and said we That's read it great. from a study. And now all the New South Welshmen... Because, like, Sydney's, like, our biggest fucking listener place. Like, oh, true. Yeah, Sydney's Is fucking right? the top. Yeah, the dad kisses love us. So, the dad um, kisses dad love kisses, us. So, yeah. so <laughs> like, the best thing is now is they've, like we would, took it on board, and now they'll ring up and be like, hey, boys, such and such from dad kissing country, just finished fucking planting one on dad in the sunshine. <laughs> like, you know, so so they just <laughs> they just have run with it, and when you get those bits of humour that are in your own sort of show and community, that's yeah. the good shit, eh? Like the bedwetters stuff, man. Bro, yeah, we yeah. love. Yeah, honestly, I was even saying to Lou on the car ride over here, I was like, sometimes you don't like we come and do this, and you know, it's become our life now. Where mm. We just come and do, we do the podcast, you know, and it's sort of become a bit norm, like it's our normality now. Yeah. And I said to her, I said, I actually last night had a little moment to myself because we did a video with the Reese brothers yesterday. And then they were at some US, I think the weigh-ins yesterday or something like that. And they sent a video through to our little group chat. And it was of a bloke at the weigh-ins fucking wearing a wee meanwhile hat. Yeah. And I just, I was just like, for some weird reason, it just got me. And I was like, that bloke has chosen to wear, to wear our hat yeah. out. Mm. I'm like, that is I've so fucking cool. Mate. And I was like, fuck, we're actually... never our merch before either. Mate, it is, it is honestly the merch like thing is like, obviously for a business sense, it's good as well. But mate, like we've said so many times, like we got that community, like the Facebook group on there that people can get around each other and that. But the fact that if you know they're proper listeners of the show, everyone rings in, they're on the same level as other people are. Yeah. You know you've got a starting point with someone. Like if you're at the pub, our mate's got a hat on. Mate. You can just go up and say, hey, bro, you got a starting point to just go have a chat with someone. Yeah. Like if you're a bit socially awkward or you might not have any mates, it's just that starting point. And like that live show, man. There was fucking 400 and something people there, never met each other, but it was like a reunion. Just yeah, yeah. that's it's so profit. cool. It's Great awesome. fucking way to put it. Like I can't wait to do a live show. Oh, mate. God, it's so amazing. good. Like, just everyone being able to come together like that is just such a fucking good thing to yeah. see. It's fucking special. Mm. That live show was... It was one of the coolest fucking things I've, I've done, I reckon. You did Nerdy Bra Live. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 Correct. I think you tried to FaceTime me. Probably did, though. At one point. Because yeah. there was, was a few bedwetters. Pep- We've got some mm. crossover audience because yeah. I've done stuff with these boys and then I've had people like, oh, yeah, I got on to you guys from the Alpha Blokes and fucking, you know. Mm. So there were a few bedwetters in there. Yeah. A lot of people. You know what fucking every time I'm out? What? Every single time I'm out. I don't know if this happens to you boys if you're out solo. The first question I get asked, they go, where's Lou? Yeah. 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 100%. I go, g'day. Yeah, uh, Jack. Yeah, what, good to meet you. What's, yeah, what is what a full breakdown on what Tom's doing in life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I don't fucking know. I don't yeah. know. We got to a level the other day um, with how much merch we've sort of put out that blokes wearing the hat and don't even fucking um, know who I am just walk past me. Oh, fair income. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I'm going, that is Gee, piss up. Yeah, I think the next uh, the next live show we'll do with where we really want to come down to fucking you know dad kissing country and, and dive in down here. You know, give back because like we said, we've got a big listener base here, and it's like I'm all about you know give them a bit of chance to give us some shit. Hundred percent, mate. Spin a few jokes at them, give them a bit of shit, and you know that sort of thing. And mate, that'd be fucking. It's perfect. Yeah. Question. Do it at the Rojo. 
I mean, no, we need a bigger venue. Oh. I don't know if you know. Oh, These guys are a pretty sorry. big Because we, we were liking <laughs> the idea. Sorry. Okay, sorry, sugar. Sydney Olympic Park. Now we're cooking with C- gas. C- Kudos Arena. Now we're cooking the with a bit of Sydney gas. Sydney SFS. <laughs> the Opera Allianz. House. Opera House. Opera House. Allianz. We sort of like the idea in Newcastle because it's that Newey's same industry. Sort mate, of vibe. yeah. It's like, a working class town. Mm. Newey would be fucking... Per- it'd be perfect. Yeah. It'd Red be a fucking park. Epic. <laughs> hey, so, but you are with child. You have a few children, right? Mm. Sons? Uh, two sons. Two sons. Mm. Kiss them? Yeah. You're a son kisser? Yeah, Fuck yeah, I am. How old are they? Son kissers. Um, Fucking son kissing cunt. Six months old and four. Oh, sorry, Josh. Well, hold on. That's very appropriate. But didn't we say four and onwards, yeah, no more kissing? I yeah. think you no, could I'm go transitioning to... No, I'm transitioning to the cheek currently. I think you could go to five. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are. I think you could go to five. Yeah, look. I think uh, you could go to like the odd 24. One. Look, the odd one. On the left. Seven to eight. The odd one, he'll plant one on me. But like I'm transitioning him to the cheek now. Over okay. the next year and a half. Okay. You yeah. know, and there's a big cuddle. And he's going to think he's done something wrong. No, he, no, he's no, not. he won't. Look, I, I'm good. I've got this shit covered. Yeah. It's all you, good. You're fine. You okay. Know, Dad transitioned me off the lips early. Fucking, you know. You're following and, in his footsteps. And, and you just I don't even remember it. I don't even yeah. remember. All of a sudden, it just feels weird to kiss Dad on the lips now. Yeah. yeah. And he's done it in the right way that I don't even remember it happening. Yeah, good. Yeah, so, good. You yeah. Know. I'm, repressed, I'm repressed memories. You've seeing weaned. my dad in the um, Gold Coast on Saturday, and if he ever, if we ever, like, went, it would just be horrific. Like, yeah. Mm. Just been, oh, my God. I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. How did we accidentally miss Cheeks? It's just one of those oh, things, yeah. right? Like, I remember, like, I think in high school, and, like, this is going, like, that's all just having a laugh, you know, the dad kissing thing. Of course. But I still remember, like, high school, there was a bloke who caught the bus, and he was waiting with his dad, and I'm talking, like, year 11 sort of, mm. sort of shit, you know, and sitting on the bus and just looking out and literally kissed his dad on the lips before he got on the bus, and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? Like it's that just, father it just throws you off. A hundred percent, mate. <laughs> no social skills. The poor bus. Everyone in the bus will be going. You're going to get. Stopped. Oh, you're about Absolutely to get roasted, roasted when boy. you get on air. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Kids yeah. are brutal. Like oh, high school yeah. and that. Like we have that sense of like, Very oh, cruel. I don't know what, but it's fucking full on, eh? Like imagine if everyone's mentality was like high school when you're adults. Like not online, like every cunt is, they'd but be, actually to your face. In your face. Yeah. <laughs> There'd be a lot of murders. You'd have, yeah, you'd have a bit on. I know yeah. how a tough high school can be because I was sixty kilos ripping wet with severe acne. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I get the gist. Yeah, yeah. They called me Jackney. Oh, Jack for a long time. It was a good. Jack it was a good. It was, it was actually a, a great wrecking. wrecking. Do you remember who made it up? I do. A bloke called Cameron Sweeney. Right. Fuck him. Good mate, mate of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Well played, Swains. Yeah, no, good work, yeah, like Pimple fart from Kmart or something like that. Hey, Pimple it was a freckle face fart. Freckle from Kmart. face. Yeah, hold on. Freckle fart from Kmart. Mm. Yeah, I think it was a freckle thing. Yeah, what's that? Oh, okay. When they, if you had freckles, ever they call you freckle fart from Kmart. Yeah, freckle face fart from Kmart. Yep. Why? Because you had just freckles. Ro- you got freckles. It rhymes. It's fun. It was just brutal. Sounds just like some type of toy from Kmart. What the fuck are you playing with? Well, why would you add the Kmart to it? Because it rhymes. rhymes. Frickle, but you could do frickle fart from... I used to like pimple fart from Kmart. See, it's hard to rhyme with fart. So Kmart rhymes with fart, Duff. Mm. Those acting don't days have, were rough, Don't have to think it. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Frickle it. fart it's from, not that deep, Duff. Frickle fart from Mr. Parts. Yeah, well well done. That's way better. <laughs> uh, well, Kmart? Um, you came up with that? Some fucking legend? I don't know. I just heard it and you yeah. just... Yeah. You just oh, I, got it wrong. I got it wrong, so... Yeah. yeah. With the live events, so boys, we've got a few, we've got some coming up. Mm. Now, because for those of you that don't know, Tommy also does another podcast called the Reggie's Podcast, sports based, sports based podcast. Yeah. Sorry, my friends. With a bloke, what's his name? Groper. Groper. <laughs> now, Groper. I wanted to pick, because okay. you know how I'm when this stink in bloody January, I'd like to know about this name. So, Groper. Yeah, I'd love to know about the name as well, mate, oh, because it's Tommy sounds. Tommy through that. <sighs> It sounds like it could be either he looks like a fish yeah. or he's inappropriate on the piss. Yeah. So, or is so it a mixture of it's both? It's even better. So, so, it is, even better. so it is inappropriate on the piss, but that's that's not how it came about. Okay. It was at year nine camp, actually. Okay. And we were uh, on a low ropes course. <laughs> and, and it was actually just <laughs> just beams, right? And yeah, you had to that. walk along them and you had someone either side to fucking um, brace if someone fell off because it was so high. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, we were we were with this this chick, 
And she, do you know the one who was just loud as fuck? Rah, 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 yep. Rah. Yep. Just wanted to be first with everything. We got we got put with her. No, I'm not saying anything. We got we got <laughs> we but we got put with her. And anyway, towards the end, she's she's tumbled off, and Groper has grabbed her mm. straight on the tit. Yeah. And and she goes <laughs> at the top of her lungs. He grabbed my bird. <laughs> and the teachers go, hey, Groper. <laughs> The teachers. The teachers. Yeah. It's the teachers go, hey, it's right. <laughs> That's and, amazing. And stuck. And stuck like shit to a blanket. Because he goes, oh, I'm not a grower. <laughs> like, fuck it, like proper. He blew up, hated it. Really? Was like, yeah, fuck it. Like, just <laughs> was blown up. Oh, it's a up. shocking neck. Oh, yeah, it's not right, is it? It is. But, like, if I were to call him Ryan, like, I accidentally called him Ryan the other day talking to my missus at home, and I'm like, oh. What just happened? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Groper. Nice Groper. Name. Yeah. Groper. So um, that's how it come about, man. And it's so funny of just how simple that is. And it sticks like everyone calls him Groper. Because it's everyone. Good. <laughs> it's so, awkward when um, um, my wife will say to, to my daughter, going, Uncle Grapes is coming over soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. And, and I'm like, like I'm like looking at her and going, <laughs> That's, a, that's <laughs> not Let's the name you want Ryan. as an uncle. That's what my missus said too. She goes, what if she picks the kids up from, like, if he picks the kids up from school one day and they've got to go, yeah, me uncle Groper's coming to pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, like, the teachers I, will not, yeah. <laughs> not know what the Yeah, I don't think the teachers on. will be as liberal these days with the name Uncle Groper as they no. were back then. Yeah. When, it's fucking piss of the teachers nicknamed him. Yeah. yeah. There's a certain shift in the fucking dynamic of teachers. And they were legends. Amazing. They were legends too, these blokes. Like well, they played footy, um, oh, PE sort of teachers, just like us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. Was it was just so fun. And they only <laughs> said it once. It's not like they carried on with it, but we heard that and went, <laughs> rolling with that. <laughs> like, fuck it. So, spill the tea for me, boys. How's he going to stink, old Groper? He's six and I. Oh, and six. Oh, and six. I said that. To me, adds more pressure on me. Yeah, like he's if, got nothing to lose. Uh, you're correct. He's got nothing to he lose. He has nothing to lose. And, and he reckons now that he knows he's going to be in a fight because Groper has a a cycle that he goes through. Right. Yep. He gets knocked out. Yep. And then it takes a couple. He gets he's very quiet for a couple of months, <laughs> and then as it progresses month by month, and it's actually starting to spread out now. It's been a couple of years. Yeah. So he'll he'll progressively get lippier and lippier. <laughs> Lippier and lippier, and he even says he even says himself, "I'm going to get knocked out soon. I'm getting a bit, you know." Oh, does he? Yeah, like he's totally open does with the he? fact that I'm the piss. He's an absolute weapon, and he goes, "Yeah, I'm probably due for one." And it's about and, time. And then yeah. he gets, then he gets, um, you know, get one put on him, and he fucking resets him, and he just sort of goes round. So, so that's that is but, fucking great, but mate. Honestly, just the fucking funniest cunt to be around. But like my missus goes, I don't know if I've ever met someone that I love so much off the piss and hate so much on. Is that right? Oh, yeah. oh so the grog's just Changes. fucking. Yeah, but he's just he's just loud and fun yeah. and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Just to be like, what? Like, is it? Yeah. yeah, just cheeky. But yeah. mate, yeah, he's a bloody yeah. He's a he's a fun bloke to be around. Anyway. Well, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty <laughs> excited about it. But uh, also. Yeah, there's a, there's an added element of pressure that I'm well, going. Well, explain up. to the beard is what's going on. Well, we're getting we're doing a basically a podcasting melee, like an all in brawl. So it's a podcasting boxing match. These boys mm. have been essentially organising it with Buster Kirby, yep. and a couple knuckles other knuckles and Gibbo, knuckles and that. Yep. yep. So we're basically a heap of podcasters. We're getting a venue, mm. and we're all going in, and we're getting in a fucking stink. Yeah, we're so, like gonna yeah. So they're gonna three be, two minute rounds. Yeah, three, three two, two minute, minute rounds. rounds. We're sort of. Got a, got, a heap, got a heap of fights planned up. Um, obviously, we had to start like an events company to, to do this. And yeah. With a fair few people, that, that takes its time. So that's uh, why we haven't sort of announced the date or anything because there's a lot that goes into mm -hmm. it. But the idea, mate, pretty much is like fucking have fun for one. But also, we've all got these audiences that are invested in what we do. Yep. So if we all come together and put an event on straight away, it's Free advertisement to all those people. It gives them something to go to, like the live event. Yeah, yeah. And you're all working together. Everyone gets exposure from it. It's just like a fucking big fun thing to do as a community. I fucking can't wait. Yeah. Who else have you got locked in um, to fight? Fucking how many? Oh, 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 I've got hook jab cross. I think there'll be about 10 or 11. Yeah, we're sort of still confirming locked. it sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, right? yeah. We don't want to get too much away, but I think yeah. 11, yep. yeah. Fair. Mm. But just know, uh, bedwetters, that we'll be, um, I'll start training soon enough. Yeah. I'll be giving updates. It's next year, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, it'll yeah. Be, so early, early next year. But like, like we said before, it's just making sure because the biggest thing is putting on a good event. Like Hunter. I don't want to put on some little fucking side. No, show I'm not thing. doing anything half. Not half. half it's, fuck no. It's going to be proper, properly done. So it's just making the time. You know, we'll get Lou in there. Yeah, absolutely not. We'll get Lou in there. No, absolutely not. We'll give it a go. I'm very happy to uppercut hook jab across the bag, but you'll, that's you'll, about you'll it. You'll come and bloody um. Support. I'll come watch. I'll be drinking on the sideline. Okay, now we're cooking. Actually, I'll be in the ring when you come and sit down. Ring girl. I'll like pour the water on oh, you. Yeah, and I'll like, this is coach. what you fucking came here for, Jack. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Suck it up and get back out there, champion. Honestly, that would give me enough fucking anger just yeah. from annoyance that I reckon I go. I'll do spark that, him. and then I'll, yeah, I'll like, sing SpongeBob song. I've never um I've actually <laughs> never never witnessed Groper in any of those losses either. So. I, I don't. I don't even know how he goes, but he's talking a big game. Oh, I'm gonna lift him. He, have you talk- boxed before? Nah, I've done there a bit was- of boxing before, but not yeah. really. Just I've like seen going him to the shadow gym. box at the gym. It's pathetic. <laughs> so can we? Can we also <laughs> preface <laughs> something? <laughs> no, can we preface something? <laughs> yeah. When Lou says shadow box at the gym, she means hit a bag. That's how little she fucking knows about no, what she's talking about. No, because if I was he shadow boxing, against the if bag. I was, if I was shadow boxing, darling, and then he jumps back and goes. <laughs> And then goes back to the bag. And then <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, but don't, aren't you supposed to slap it like that? Yeah, you've, you've been going front on. You meant to go, oh, oh fuck. Uh, it'll be Not fucking good bag. fun, though, man. It'll be great, like, mate. I, for me, personally, like, it's just giving me a kick in the ass to actually, you're like, right, eh? You're going to be literally punching on with someone yeah. in front of thousands of people. Mate, time to yeah. Time to get a bit about you. So, well, like, you know, I think I've... Fucking dropped about. I started 103 kilo. I think I'm about 95. Oh yeah, wow. like just, fucking good just, effort, just mate. Just eating right and doing a bit of running and that. Because I'm like, oh, I only want to fight once. And if I'm showing my kids a replay, I want to be sparking it. <laughs> Hundred. Like I don't want to just become a fucking prize fighter. Like I just want to do this once, uh, do it as good as I can, and then fuck off. How much does Grape weigh, mate? He'd be high 90s, maybe 100. Well, actually, not 100. Perfect. I think. I think. What are you ringing him at? 90s. 86. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You got yeah. to pack on about seven kegs. Nah, I'm too fast and too sharp. I'll just jab the cunt, then I'll just throw <laughs> this fucking lift. I'll throw this. Trust fucking, me. I've got a pretty I'm spicy right hook. Hand I've right, got a pretty mate. spicy reckon, right hook. Not a chance. I reckon you're going to come in there wanting to knock him off too, because he's uh he's he's very good at pushing buttons. Yeah, yeah, and, no, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Will you do the pre-fight sort of thing? We'll where do you go something. Off at yeah. each other? We have to do a press conference. Exactly. So I think that'll be a big thing, and it's it's all those things, like organising all those things. You don't just go. Hey, rock up here, boys. It's like we want to do the proper, like, stream the press conference, yeah, which yeah. will be the fucking probably more entertaining than the fights. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. And, you know? And, um, but yeah, so it's exciting. It's just making sure it all fucking happens. I definitely right. reckon, um, Jarch and Graves would probably be the press conference to see. Oh, mate. Amazing. <laughs> that, I, I can't give like, a bit like, of stick myself, like, boys. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, for sure. You and Klutz, like, you, you, you might lip up and he might lip up. I don't think it'd be, it's not, it won't be like, that's a hard one, yeah. mate, because I'm fucking good mates with Clutch. Yeah, you know? and, and like and me and Gibbo, Gibbo's pretty quiet. Really. Mm. I actually, I, I'm actually pumped as much as this doesn't go with the shit talking because I'm going to fucking, I'm going to lift the cunt and I'm actually going to like really get under his skin. Yeah, yeah. But I'm actually stinging no matter what happens to sit back afterwards and just fucking crack a couple of tins well, that's- and be like, brother. What, well a, what a show. That's going to be the best part, man, is I everyone agree. who punches on, that we all go to the after party after. And that's the fucking bit the where you brawl. celebrate and you go, how fucking good. The all in. <laughs> <laughs> like, how good is that? That's yeah, the whole idea. It'd be Punch awesome. Punch on, have a good time, test yourselves, get a bit fit for it, and then get on the piss after. Yeah. Can't wait. Do another event. It doesn't have to be boxing, but later on you Could do something like else. Could be like kissing, best dad kiss. It, like Whatever. How oh, you, that's well, a great you event. Kiss your dad or something. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Paw Paw. Do you know? <laughs> Shout out to Paw Paw. Do you know where it's going to be? Uh, the Gold Coast. Yeah. At this stage. GC. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So it's going to be perfect. Yeah. Now. Great. We do segments in this pod, if a few seggies. Mm. I was thinking maybe we could do some red light, green light with you boys. Yeah, you cool with that? Love a good segment. Do you want to kick it off, Lulu? Sure. Do you want to do a little jingle for the boys? Um, red light, green light. Beautiful. What a voice. Just the um, voice of an angel. Wow. Wow. The okay. voice of an angel with throat cancer. Excuse me. <laughs> Stop showing off in front of your friend, Senorita. Yeah, I get a little excited. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> um, okay, red light, green light. Uh, no shoes on if you're running into the shopping centre. Yeah, oh, it's green light for me and, and CQ, knew you, bro. I knew it. I just red I, light. Look, I don't look, yeah. put it this way. I I when Let's, I leave the house, I'll get a fucking pair of thongs and shit. However, if I happen to like, for example, the other day went to the gym, put me running shoes on, forgot to put thongs or anything in the in the gym bag. Yep. So I just went to fucking work without shoes on for the day. <laughs> 
because <laughs> fuck wearing sand shoes. <laughs> yeah. That- no, nah, I'm wild. like a. That is wild. I'm like a, if I've got to run down to the to the <laughs> recycling bin with something, I'll run down there bare feet. But yeah. I'm not running into the supermarket with bare feet. No yeah, oh look, I don't, I don't feel comfortable as fuck doing it. It's not like I'm mean to, but if if I need to get something from the shops and I have to drive 20 minutes home, I don't oh give yeah, a fuck. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. convenience, obviously. Beach towns, green light. little mm. different. Yeah, I'm with you. Rock, Actually, rocking rocking all day with without that. them just because you don't want to wear joggers. Mm. That's a pretty wild yarn. Mm. That's pretty wild. No, I get that's that. a big red for me. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's a, well, that's this is the beauty of the segment. That's right. I'm not offended. No, you look a no, little. No, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's sweet, mate. I just go, you know, and we're upstairs. It's just us three up on the fucking yeah, carpet. I'm yeah. like, whatever. I normally kick the thongs off and fucking get comfy anyway. And yeah. I love up it, mate. Put some shoes on your bum. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah fair. I've got the worst fashion fucking sense on earth. Don't worry, mate. Same I'm, with you. I'm with you. I get you fucking can... rinsed. All the time. You guys can be part of that. Mm. Um, it's like the invisible socks, man. Apparently, it's fucking cool to not see socks. It is. Because I, I used to just it's run very normal icky socks. to see the socks. But I have all high socks. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, the ankle socks. Mm, see, Hide I got introduced to that a while ago. I, got, Hide I went, I put shoes on and they were all up me. Oh, I said, for fuck's sake, a pair of Go socks. fucking weird. So anyway, I've been hooked up with the invisible ones. They're either camouflage or invisible socks. Well, yeah. either way, they're both invisible. Can, yep. <laughs> fucking camo. Can't see them. Yeah. I just want to see those beautiful ankles, mate. Mm, they are, big honestly. Pins. They're, they're getting me. <laughs> they're getting me going. Red light, green light, degustation meals. So the meals where it's like eight courses and you eat over like a period of three hours. That's oh, red light. I love a good long lunch. Great. Do you? Yeah. Fuck green. Me, boss. Red. Green. Oh, green. Like, like little things yeah, that bro. you wait for. And a they little, just keep bringing it out. A little taste like, of everything. To, yeah. to be honest, though, I haven't done it. So I can't like. When you, the cocktails are flowing. But you just want to get your. My thing is I just want to. Snitzel, chips, get my meal done. So that's over. I'm full now. And then I can rip in. Why yeah. don't you, know you I mean? guys? For a normal, for a normal dinner, I reckon fucking on with you, Jarch. But if you were going for an Arvo, like Kim said, on the cocktails, playing up, and it's just a thing that come out every now and again, I could yeah. see it happen. <laughs> Why don't you guys do that tomorrow? Go over diggy somewhere. No, no, no. I can't do it to him. I can't do it to him. Go over lovely diggy. There won't no. be much food going on tomorrow. No. There'll be, uh, <laughs> be a very a lot of day. drinking, probably. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. We've got a free day tomorrow, and we're having fun. We're grogging. We're grogging. We're grogging. Uh, okay, red light, green light. Having your partner's initials in your bio, like on Instagram. Be like, um, with the full name. Oh, yeah. you do? Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm green light. I'm fucking proud of it. Oh, I'm red. So, are you? Well, wm- I don't have any one initials to put in there either way. Yeah, this became very <laughs> sad. I got, I, I, this I got, became I got very sad. Very quickly. The, the kids yeah. Thing, yeah, 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 fair. Lulu Lu- Lu doesn't. Yeah, she what's got, what's going on there? Are you yeah. putting Steph's initials in yours? No. Nah. Go on, chuck him in. Nah. I think it's just like a run your own race. Or it's a run well, your own race. Deal, huh? Each yeah. to their own. I personally wouldn't do it. It'd yeah. be a red for me. Yeah. I'd just put Kevin's name in there, my soft toy. I thought you did have Kevin's name in there. Maybe I put Kevin's name in there. See, the red like, 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 I think that's it's as, actually quite that's a nice as red thing. as the devil's dick for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> putting Kevin in there. Bruh. Yeah. The fucking, just even just the name Kevin. Kevin. Even if it was her partner's <laughs> name, you're like, you want Kevin in there? Just, just a little shout koala. out to all the Kevins. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a Kevins. great name. What mm. about dogs? Red light, green light. In the fucking bio. 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 Red. Red. Mate, I, Red. from a Marley's farming owner. background, yeah. Yeah. I don't have you know the same level of And they have their own Instagram accounts. Dogs' birthday oh. parties, red. Come now. Oh. If don't come now. I'd probably end up doing that. You, you would be a huge grain. That's a red <laughs> for me, mate. <laughs> I could know. I could appreciate the dogs. Like four years old, me golden tree was the other day and gave him a pat. Yeah, happy birthday, mate. Yeah, give him that a bonus. That is a birthday party I'm camels. talking, of, I'm talking like a, a fucking party hat. <laughs> cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah nah, nah, nah. Green. Green Red. as fuck. Green. Didn't your mum put fucking Toby in a tux or something? For the Queen's birthday, my mum put Toby, my corgi, in a tuxedo. <laughs> wow. Really? Mm-hmm. That's fucking impressive. And for Christmas, yeah. he wears a little sand suit. Well, he's dead now, but he mm. did. Sorry to hear that. Toby's dead. It's okay. It's fine. It's been a long time. It's Nichols. not fine, Jack. Well, everything has a it's life cycle. Sad. It hasn't even been a year. It'll be a year in January. I mean, calm now. Don't. It's been a six month anniversary. Did you get another one yet? No, she won't. Haven't moved on. She won't get another one. She likes she the freedom of being able to dip elsewhere in New Zealand. Yeah, that's that is. Handy, so otherwise, right? you know, she'd have to. 
put them in a little kennel. Mm. Take Toby for the weekend. So what? What's I well, read like Ren Wright taking them into shops? Dogs mm, that aren't guide dogs. G- g- red. Mm, I'm with you. Red. Red. Do you know Canada? Is it illegal? When we were in Canada, there was like fucking uh, people who ran the shops, and there'd be like a dog just sitting on a shelf, <laughs> just 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 wagging its tail. The really? Dog, and you're like, mm. oh, okay. Really? Like, yeah. They they just happened to. I think they bring it, it so to cold. work. Yeah, a couple of them did, but. Like, it was just a really normal thing. Like, I reckon here, if someone's walking around with a dog in a shop that isn't a guide dog, you're sort of like, oh, fucking a bit weird or it's yeah, yeah, off yeah, a yeah, bit. Yeah. But over there, they were everywhere, right? Eh? Like, yeah. Just play on to take it retail shopping. Well, I think because it was so cold as well, like maybe they didn't want to chain it up outside or tie it up outside True. in the snow or so something. So they wear but little jackets? Oh, no, uh, you get a gun. I didn't really look at them for long yeah. enough. Oh, imagine, <laughs> that, imagine them in a little fur coat. Buddy, uh, come a little on. puffer. They've oh. got a fur coat on. It's called their fucking yeah, fur. they might be. Cold. <laughs> Imagine it's a dog colder. in a fur coat. Yeah, it's coat. Oh, but they might need a little puffer with fur around it. Um, okay, well, I, one, more I, fr- one more from you. One for- well, red light, green light, gentlemen. And mm. be fucking careful. This is our podcast. Ooh. Piss in the bed. Like a, like yeah, green a, light, buddy. Just, like Let's as go. A, Let's like as an adult. Point. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, red. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Get up. Get out. Get out. What? What, you never been on the grogs and pissed the bed? Yeah, but I'm not proud of it. <gasps> it's not like fucking... Yeah, you fuck know, like, like, you mate, watch it, mate. It's a, it's a great laugh. Like, me mate wears adult pull-ups when he's <laughs> on the that. piss. Like, <laughs> his missus either makes him sleep on the floor or it's yeah, pull-up if you're in too. the bed. You're joking. So, nah, just because he gets blind. And it's it's hilarious. That like so I mean, green good. light for a laugh and everything, but me personally, it's like, oh, I'd rather not, you know? Green. I'll tell you, tell you my green, piss. Green, green. <laughs> I'll tell you my piss in the bed yarn. It's been an <laughs> early beach bucks party. Um, so I pissed the bed. Took Stripped all the sheets off. The boys were still out at the clubs. I must have come home and done that. Pissed in my mate's bed. <laughs> flipped the mattress over. Pissed again the next night. Wow. <laughs> the triple oh, you piss. flipped and pisses. pissed. Flipped them, yeah. Three pisses over three days. Well, this is coming off a big... Um, Bender, we'll call it. That is unreal bed wet, mate. <laughs> oh, the mind. Have yeah. on this one, mate. <clears throat> like, it was like 41 degrees, drag line shut down or whatever, and then just we got back and just got straight into the beers. Must have done half a carton. <laughs> and then just, yep, woke up, pissed the bed, quit my job, flipped the bed and left. <laughs> <laughs> Sayonara, guys. Here's a big puddle of I was, I was already over it. I'm like, I was, had another job lined up, and then <laughs> that just topped me. And I'm going, woke up, I pissed the bed. I'm late for work. I'm hungover as shit. So, oh. piss, That's quit, amazing. flip, fly. I think mean, I've mean, yep. been lucky enough not to. I've woken up mid spew before when I've been blind. Like all, fucking all hell, through mate. the bed. Like I was then, I think it was yeah, a big one. Loose. That's and dangerous. You yeah. could choke. <laughs> Fully. Like it doesn't happen. It's only happened once. But I just remember. It's not like I woke up needing to spew. It was like fucking coming out, and I'm Jeez. like, oh, I'd much rather piss the bed than spew the bed. Yeah, hundred percent. Agree. You know that's full on. Yeah, that is fucking. Especially f- when you got the missus there going, oh great. Oh, oh that's just drama. Sometimes it? I just think about what our poor girlfriends have to put up oh. with, and it's fucking Shout out to them. Shout they out to them. They do a great job. You do. I don't know how I've you turned do. around not pissing the bed, but I haven't done it in years. Oh, I'm True. Right. Maybe tonight's the night. I thought I was in a night. rough patch there. I'm like, we got dramas. Tonight's the night. I can feel well, it. Well, this weekend stinks a bit a bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's well, why he's in his own room. Well, you probably dropped two cold and flus tonight. I'll probably piss the bed tonight. Yeah. I've it's I found out my Achilles heel is I fucking drill cold and flus just to fucking knock me out. Oh. And uh, I'll wake up either post stream or mid stream. So that's what brings it on for you, the cold and flu. You know what I think mine was when I was working away was the fucking uh, sleeping tablets. That's what yeah. I mean. And then you're on the piss too. It d- exactly right. Do you reckon I when you're mate, that's why I don't do it because I don't I'm not on sleeping pills or anything. I'm not out doing night shift. And, there you the go, night. mate. We we'll figure something out. Do you reckon you're pissing the bed when you're pissing? You're dreaming about pissing while I, you're pissing. D- honestly, mate, yeah. the last time I did it, and it used to give me anxiety as a bedwetter as a kid because yeah. that was what it was. I'd be taking a piss in my dream, and I'm like, lucky this isn't a dream. And then I'd wake up and I've pissed the bed. Mm. And the last time I did it, <laughs> it was a dream piss. Yeah, because I like fuck. I think like obviously as a kid, you piss the bed. It's yeah. not like I'm saying I'm never. Pissed yeah, no, the bed. mate, fuck. don't worry. It's okay. I went to bed but, till I was eight. But yeah, nice. But, you know, like back then, I still remember like a couple of times, I think it'd be like, yeah, you just think you're pissing because you're dreaming that you're pissing. 100%. And that was my last, and that was a year ago. Yeah. 
You're so, due for one. I'm due for but one. But see, as an adult and a bloke, you normally get a fatter dog, couldn't chew through. So it doesn't let the stream come out. Yeah. It's so like your body's <laughs> defence against pissing the bed. Yeah, Surprised yeah. I don't piss the bed more because I've got such a weak bladder. Like I go like 14 times a day probably. Wow. But you also carry around a 40-litre fucking bucket True. of water and pump Big it Big old day. gallon. Tremendous fucking point. Big She's got a 44-gallon drum full of fucking water. That is such a thing, isn't it, with, it with, mate, with chicks? It's unreal. Frank Green's the big mm. fuckers. I've got one literally like that. My big. wife loves water It's bottles. unreal. Isn't there a proper people. thing? Like, you you don't feel um, safe. Call, yeah, what do they call what? it? Like, the... I don't know. There's, There's a like study being done. Yeah, by safety thing. blanket, like drink bottles. Yeah. Or anything. God, come now. Stay We've got to be adults at some fucking point. Hydrated. I wish, though, that I did get into the habit of carrying around a water bottle because I'm one of the worst people ever for not drinking water. Yeah, I'm with you, mate. I'm going to consciously do it. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking parched as we are now. Yeah, mm. see, I usually just, like, skull my water. Yeah. Like, I'll, like, get a water bottle and just, like, chug it back because I'm like, I need to be hydrated. Not but just your water, sister. Drinking. You've got a drinking problem. Am I tequila? Yeah. It's, yeah. Fucking, yeah. it's aggressive. Well, Same look, we you. can't talk. We got on the end of the tequilas last night, which went I quite well. Tequila. Proud of you, boys. Mm. Um, love now, tequila. before we do Hotline, darling, mm. I've got a few questions I want to ask the boys. Mm-hmm. So, at the end of your podcast, when you have a guest, you ask a few questions. I've been lucky enough to be on your potty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I thought I'd sort of emulate it for you guys while you're in the studio. Yeah, here we go. So, no, it's pretty good. I've been, I reckon right. I'm pretty good. All right, boys. Favourite grog? Fuck, man. Thunderbird rum. Yeah. <laughs> Great answer. Yeah, mate. For me, for me, I think it is that too. It was Should've weird. I never had a spirit for so long. Was never a fucking huge rum pig as a, as a kid. I always just liked beer. Yeah. But... Yeah, moving on now. If I'm going to something that sweet nectar oh, fuck, after it's a good. few beers, Diesel. it's just fucking good. Fuck it, hits. I do like it. I, I'm with you, boys. Mm. That's a fucking good one. Favorite song to karaoke to? Ooh, good child. I just want to live. <gasps> True, Shaggy. It wasn't me. Tunes. Both yeah. bangers. Absolute tunes. Both fucking bangers. <laughs> fucking love that. Bars or showers. What's that? Baths or showers? Fucking showers. Mate, you give me... I used to call him. This has come home one day and I was in the bath drinking a red wine. <laughs> talking to him. Oh, with that, do you, know, do you know the thing that go across the front uh, over the top of the bath? The, he oh, me the fucking yep. tray. We yep. were an hour and a bit deep into a yarn. Well, this is before we did podcasts yeah. and that's sort of why we did it because we could yarn for hours. Yeah, and yeah. Like, and anyway, I'm driving home. He's got a red wine... I don't know if you had a dart or something, but a cigar. No, oh, yeah, no, no. Put a bit no, of mayo on it. You had yeah. a cigar. Yeah, yeah. And fucking had the thing there, bubbles, and just sitting there on the phone having a yarn, and she's like, look at this cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. I'm fully got into oh, them lately. Yeah. I love a whiskey in the bath. I'm just pour yeah. a whiskey, sit in the bath, I fucking scroll shoes through, she'll put something on. We're on rainwater, this, so that's a very rarity. So. There you go, yeah, true. This, this is my thing with baths, right? I get out feeling like I'm fucking sweaty. So, and I'm like, you've got to have a fit- shower after yeah. a bath. No, 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 no. That, yes, that, you do. Yes, you're that's red. That's sitting green in your light. grubby that, water. That defeats the you're purpose. You're not cleaning for me, yourself though. if you like, don't. You have a shower after your bath. I'm clean. I've just been in a body of water. Sitting in your own dirt. Yeah, get but in the your showers. Forehead, your forehead is just like sweaty. Yeah, that's my thing. I'm like that's a short period. And if I'm sore, actually, like after footy or something, I might put whatever the salts the are in that. salts in that. You might just jump in there and just maybe loosen up a bit. That's why I'm like cleaning it. myself. Fuck it. I love the baths with the shower thing. So you can, can just get up out of the bath, oh, give yourself a little shower down. Give a little sprinkle on the mm. <laughs> Get a little <laughs> tinkle on the sprinkle oh, on yeah. the tinkle. The, the fucking hard jet. <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> when, I'm, yeah, when I'm in a real frisky mood. I don't do that. But. Neither. Puberty. Steph. Uh, <laughs> just speaking of mayo, do you, do you prefer mayo on your singers or on your yarns? Yarns. 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 I hate mayo. Mate, it's uh the the secret to a good yarn is coming up with a story that's sort of funny, putting enough mayo on it that it's now really funny without crossing the line. Slather it's up. a fucking it's mm. a hard line to know when to put too much mayo onto a it's yarn. It's a fine art, brother. Because it turns people off too much mayo. And you can tell if there's a bit too much like on that it. Cunt reckons he was walking his cruise across the Moony Moony Bridge. Like, that's fucking yeah. smothered in mayo. You, that's mm. Buzz Rothfield vibes. That's a fucking... <laughs> that's a fucking <laughs> that is literally just a jar of mayonnaise. Yeah. I do love mayo. Yeah. I only like so the Japanese on one. sandwiches. Mm. Yeah, okay. Probably. Fair. Yeah. Mm. You've sp- you spread a bit of mayo on your I yarn stuff. I love mayo. Um, who's your favourite podcast guest ever? 
Mm. Be fucking careful. <laughs> well, it's not that is you. a fucking very hard question because you go like, what's the one that you've enjoyed the most or which one's like surreal that you talk to them to? Well, the like, surreal you know, was probably Jarge or something. Like, like well, mate, fucking was the Jarge. ones that you sit there and you enjoy the I fuck out of it. I doubt it's you. <laughs> like, enjoy the fuck out of it like you. Yeah. It, it's Prime or Knuckles or Buster yeah, and Zayden yeah, yeah, yeah. and the Pooh Bandit and there's heaps of cunts who have been funny as, but I think... Just sitting there with Steve-O that time. I was going to say. For me, not enjoyable like the chat, but just the fact that he thought it was worth his while sitting with us to have a fucking chat was a pretty cool. I was, so, I was so nervous. Even on my face from that intro, that was shocking. Yeah. It was like the video that was, we did together. Like, yeah, the nervous just, podcast. Yeah, yeah. That out. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I think that Steve-O was like, as in Jackass. 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 I love Steve-O. him. Yeah, yeah, they had him on the potty. That's cool. So that that was that experience was pretty cool. But yeah, that's it's amazing. fucking <laughs> like I think we're sort of closing in this year on two hundred episodes, you know. So it's sort of it's one of those things that you look back and if you actually went all through them, it'd be yeah, fucking wow. hard to choose. hundred percent. And that's yeah. like I said before, it's so so blessed to be able to meet such cool fucking people. Mm. And fucking and actually have a chat to them like this. Over that time, you know? Unreal. Yeah. So it's hard to pick. And the cool thing about what I loved about that as well is that was like a crowd-funded cunts were just getting around you boys, being like, mm. Steve-O, you need to go on these boys' podcast. Mm. And, like, everyone got around you to well, the point where he heard the noise. Mate, the craziest yes. thing so is he, cool. he fucking um, wore the – oh, he didn't wear it, but all the crowd was wearing our merch. And he kept seeing the merch, and his fucking management reached out to us. Oh, and pisser. Said, so when we heard that, we're like, hey, how good is this? We'll say we're trying it. to get yeah. Steve-O. Oh. Knowing that he'd already, he's keen to come for That's a chat. So that is good. mad. So then went, let's try and get Steve-O. And we're like, because we've already, you know. Got, got him. But got then him. Got Very Steve-O. radio of you. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah the magic yeah, yeah. behind the yeah. scenes yeah. there. Very so, no, smoking mirrors. So it was good, yeah. It was a fucking cool experience. Mate, last one, and this is probably the most important question. What's your favourite part about Lulu? Ooh. Mate, there's Her not breakfast many. breakfast orders. Look, there's <laughs> 100%. A <laughs> yeah. yeah. lot of sausages in those. Mate, I'm going to be honest. There's not many women for me that are very good at telling a story and just making it entertaining. A lot of the time it goes for a lot too long with too much information. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. They no, fucking, long long hey, lunch vibes. Hey, yeah, and yeah. this isn't being sexist. Women are just shit at spinning yarns. <laughs> <laughs> You pig. Now stop. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> yeah. But you are good at spinning yarns. So Thank I think you. you're it's fucking, you do kind. a great job. You're not meant to point either. Thank you. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Great answer. Yeah. But no, yeah, no I answer. think you do a good job. Good Thank answer. You. It's very kind. That was a ripper. So I think uh, we both have great yarning. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yarns. Yeah, well, your yarns. I've grown up like that, you know. What? From say age eight spinning yarns. Or, or, <laughs> or age two when I would sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on my dying nanny's bed. Or at age eight spinning fairy floss and you're a homemade fairy <laughs> floss spinning making machine out, um, and then eating fucking four fucking bunches <laughs> of it. Those things. Lazy Susan. Lazy. Yeah, yeah just spinning, spinning the lazy like it was a fucking the DJ sauce. decks. <laughs> Just deep throat and fucking um, yum, yum. <laughs> honey chicken. <laughs> um, all right, we'll do a bit of. We always end on the hotline, boys. Oh, Chuck it. on your headphones. So we thought we'll fucking bum on the headphones. How good? Oh, yeah. How good is it? How good is listening to your fucking audience? I know they're, the best. they're amazing. We fucking Goodbye. love it. So let's just see. And we tend to go rogue, so we haven't done any research on these. Mm. We've we've just decided lately that we prefer just going rogue and scrolling through randomly, and that way there's. It's just, it's a fucking surprise for everyone. Also, Josh is lazy and doesn't do his prep. That is also yeah. factually accurate. <laughs> so, He's I flat actually, out. Um, I've got a rogue voicemail here that I think oh, we yeah. should play. Yeah, bruh, fuck oath. Nice, let's hear that. Yep. Maggie boy, I hope you're treating my two mates like absolute kings <laughs> while they do you this favour and go on your show. <laughs> Listen, I've got a real problem with you at the moment. <laughs> Ever since this fight got announced between us, what have you done to promote it? You've done nothing. <laughs> we got an opportunity here, possibly main event this thing. We're the two best-looking blokes on the card. I'm from central Queensland. You're from country New South Wales. We're probably the only fight that's going to weigh in at an actual set professional fighting weight. <laughs> the fucking fuel is there. I'm bringing all the oxygen. I just need you to light the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do something. Oh, uh, Louisa, 
Listen, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you yet, which is why I feel a little bit bad asking for a favour, but I need you to do something for me. This is good. Can you please make sure that Jake is training and in the gym at least four to five times a week because I'll be fucked if I'm going to train my ass off for four or five months just to get in there and knock him out in the first minute. I need him to fire up. He's got to make it for round two just for the people's sake, at least. That's oh, amazing. All right, I've got to go. I've got a heap of meetings. All these major sponsors are looking to uh, get on board for this fight. Anyone who is anyone is trying to get a piece of the gropes ring attire for fight night. Jakey, oh. I'll see you again tonight, eh? Soon as your head hits that pillow and you shut your eyes, boom, there I'll be again, living <laughs> rent-free in your nightmares just like I've been the last month. All the best. That is so oh, and you've got to give it to him. That's amazing. That is unreal. <laughs> Holy dooly. Oh, they're oh. fucking beautiful. Oh. Well, What a great hotline. Listen, to be honest with you, it's cu- honestly, it's cute that you reckon, Gropes, that I need fucking four to five months to train, cunt, like you probably do. I, Groper, I'm what they, they call naturally fucking athletic, mate. All right, I can duck and weave with the best of them. And I can give you the hot tip. It's three two-minute rounds. You're fucking blessed it's only three two-minute rounds. I was hanging off the bags boxing with a couple of mates the other day and we said, fuck it, we'll do we'll do five three-minute rounds just to see how I fare. And let me tell you, bro, I was barely puffing at the end of them. Ooh. It is good. Honestly, I'm as fit as a fiddle. I'm fast. I'm sharp. And I've got a bit of power in these fucking hands, son. You're a big lanky cunt and I can't <laughs> wait to see you drop like a big old fucking gum tree. <laughs> It is going to be unreal. You're yes. like a, you'll be like a ghost gum, mate. You'll be fucking pasty white on the fucking thing. <laughs> Branches everywhere. Teeth looking like leaves spread all over the fucking canvas. It is, it, it'll be a pisser. It'll be a pisser. I think you're a good bloke. I appreciate the compliment you saying that we're both the best looking roosters in the roster. But I'll give you the hot tip, son. Afterwards, you won't be. <laughs> it'll be puffer fish territory. You'll be black and blue. Um... But I can't wait to see you throw your cute little punches at me, me duck and weave, and smack the fucking life out of those eyes. Um, I appreciate the call, bro. And, yeah, we'll ramp it up. Good on you, Grover. That's beautiful. That fucking was great. Well done. Well, well done. Very good. Well. Right. <laughs> How good was that? Hey, was unreal. Hey, guys, bro, I need you to deliver a message. <laughs> That, that is, was so good. That is unreal. <laughs> Fuck it up. Mate, good on you, mate. Fuck, I can't wait to get in the ring with that gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okie doke. We'll do a couple of we'll do a couple of hotlines mm. and then um we'll let you boys go. We know you got some serious drinking to do today. Boy, can you hear that? Na, 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 na. I mean bunnings and your bangers on. Cha cha. Fuck Shoot. yeah. The yell name. Nice. Love that song. I'm a new soul. Who sings that? Yell name. Keep it that way. Correct. Assholes. <laughs> 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 oh, I saw oh, that right. from a fucking mile away. All right, let's fucking see what this guy's got to say. G'day, guys. I just realised I was uh, cleaning the windows. Don't tell me. Uh, don't ask me how I thought of this, but I was listening to the new potty and. I just remembered a couple of years ago, my uh, ex-boyfriend's dad um, was a serial bedwetter, which obviously should have been a red flag from the get-go, but that no, no. gets us in can fucking a carton of Boris Golds every afternoon, eh? But, yeah, I was a bit concerned that him or his little brother was uh, wetting the sheets every day when I'd look in the washing machine, but no, his uh, 50-year-old dad... That's Anyways, cool. guys, um, my boyfriend also at the time, we've been together about three years now, and I think he might want to break up with me because he keeps saying, I'm chill. <laughs> Little naughty boy, I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm chill. very Wait, naughty I'm wedding chill. in bed. Yeah, anyways, guys, love the potty, keep killing it, and yeah, stop fucking bed wetting. Keep nah. pissing, mate. Keep yeah, pissing. Mate. Well, do you know what's impressive? Mm-hmm. Like, and it's not impressive as in it's a good thing because it's bad alcoholic sort of shit. Yeah. But some of those old blokes who can pound a fucking box of cans in a day. Yeah, like, and, mm. and not just that, we'd be rattled for a fucking whole day after. Next day, cracked uh, if so they're on days off. Yeah, yeah. Just oh, laying oh. concrete. Mate, I, I, like my... Just screeting. Uh, Stubby's um, godfather, my mate Stubby, his godfather Digby, he drills a 30 block of VBs a day. 
That's no, the, he that, fucking yeah, he doesn't. Does. That he lives out in the fucking out like Ridgeway. That's like alcohol. That's a real alcoholic. Digby. Yeah. That's a real Digby vibe thing to do. Isn't it? Pound, pound a whole cube. Yeah. That's Digby. <laughs> of Victor that's Brahman Digby. as well. That's, that's Digby. Di- yeah, yeah, that's Digby. He's just always drinking them. Does just he all eat? day. Yeah. But he just, just drinks. Just more VP. He just drill a block every single day. Shit. Imagine if you got. He'd be pissing right, a lot. Imagine if, like, we're talking events. Yeah. Imagine everyone got to submit, like, I don't know, from a state. The fucking bloke, because there's they're everywhere. They're Imagine bloke. a championship where you put them all in a room, last man standing. I would like, love to do something. Imagine like the that. yarns coming out of there mm. too. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> it would be one of the great. <laughs> yeah, every bloke's essentially best alcoholic. Oh mate, yeah, <laughs> in a room, and mate, they those sort of blokes like. I think you need to break it down to um, alcohol Pacific, but yeah, mm. the vodka. Category, yeah, 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 yeah you gold. would, It'd be, yeah. But, but like, once they got yeah. their own drop that they love, they can just get in their own work for sure. Because some of the, some of the yarns that come out of them, like, um, and I'm not saying Quino's old boy's one of these lads, but we're talking the Father's Day thing the other day on the yeah. show, right? And Quino's mum sent him a thing through the old boy, old Rod, um, getting stuck into his work on Father's Day. He was blind, <laughs> like absolutely trolleyed, <laughs> spinning a yarn about picking gingers back in the day for half a dozen cans. Really? And and. <laughs> We played it on the show because it's just one of those stories. He didn't know he was getting recorded. He was just kicking that's back, amazing. blind, spinning a yarn. You go, see, that's the that's the best storytellers ever. Correct. And yeah. he was nearly, well, he was probably like the highlight of the live show. Yeah. Quino's old man. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Wasn't, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. He was a pearler. Yeah. I don't know, what sex toy did I give him? Um, oh, I the womanizer? I don't know. I'm not yeah, sure. I don't know. One there's of them. There's some wild ones getting handed there out. Yeah, I hope there was. <laughs> mm. All right, let's try this. Let's just say this one. Hey, Karchi, LDD, how you going? Just uh, listening to the potty, I think, episode 84, as soon as it came out, because I'm a fucking legend listening to it as it comes out. Um, Proud of you, mate. Karchi, fucking stop sticking your fingers in shit, all right? <laughs> I, I get the pickles in the, the Cheetos, Thank the you. crushed up Cheetos. But if you're sticking your little fucking goobers <laughs> in food <laughs> and lick them, little grub. Nah, nah, but, all right, keep this in. Grow up. Little grub. Grow up. Little what's, grub what's, what are we judges. talking about? <clears throat> you know a packet of Cheetos? Mm. As a kid, I used to feel like I'd get more of them if I crushed the whole packet up into a, into a powder and I'd dip my fingers in and just suck it off the fingers. All fingers Disgusting. at the same time. Yeah, I just, I, mate, it was up to me. Despicable. Yeah, right. That's a fucking Absolutely freak despicable. show. Whereas yeah, I was still Yeah, I'm a, weird. <laughs> I'll stick a gherkin in a bag of Cheetos and eat Not that. a euphemism. No, an actual gherk. Yeah. And mm. eat that. It's like sweetie and sweet so sweet and salty, delicious, yeah, right. crunchy. And so my thing Great was like, texture. well, what's that weird about doing it with a fucking big gherkin and sucking off the gherkin if I'm just doing it with my fingers and Disgusting. sucking off my fingers? Well, I suppose mm. it's just if you're not ashamed of it, then hawk in, eh? Thanks, well, he's mate. Not. He's like, been telling it on the podcast. Well, I'm not. How's this for not being ashamed of shit? The old poo bandit come on the other day, rogue character from out, out the – Yeah. One of my good mates. Yeah. We're at the pub, took him for a feed after he came on the episode, right? Oh. Bought him a big-ass steak. <laughs> Fucking on the bone rib fucking thing. It was our shout, so he hooked in. Yeah, of course. Anyway, good on him. He spun a good yarn. Here you go, mate. And uh, this chick come back with a plate from a different table that had some crumbed steak left on it. And he said, hey, you know all that? <gasps> the waiter. You know, you know all that? And no. she went, no, nah, we're not actually allowed to give it to you. He goes, yeah, oh, come on. Oh, fuck it. She'll be right. <laughs> Bring it over. No. Bring it over. <laughs> Brought it over and he just pounded it. <laughs> Good crummy, you reckon? And he goes, and he goes crummy, yeah, 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 he goes, that's a fucking good crummy. <laughs> <laughs> like, Holy shit. Mate, how's that? And he just goes, oh, fuck it. It's going it's to go to waste. I mean. And he yelled out to someone else about um, <laughs> some, was, some pork dish. What was that about? Oh, the rippers used to be upstairs, like the bowling alley. And he goes, yeah. oh, you got to get one or two back, you know, for the... <laughs> Bloody for the bar reunion. <laughs> oh, but yeah, just just like, and it's just about. I got to respect them, mate. <laughs> we're we're a food wasting nation. That's amazing. Yeah, like, and, and not even crummy. a second Might thought. Go. Oh, fucking good crummy. Good crummy, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a perler. <laughs> right, I will drill this one. Right. Yo, senorita, there's a mablow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So I was just listening to this morning's podcast and when you're talking about self-serve checkouts and Lou goes, 
Yes, Dali. You just you yeah. say Senorita? No. <laughs> when exactly. Lou is talking about self serve checkout, and she goes, "Yeah, I can go and smack and self serve with a flake." Oh, and yeah, I was expecting you to go. You mean self serve? Self serve. But no, you just carried on. So I think it was a bit of a missed opportunity, but. Oh. You're all by now. Really? I sorry, who wrote? You probably said self serve ice cream. What's it called? Soft serve. Soft serve. Oh, this yeah. is the thing about podcasts and, uh, and you boys would probably find it. It You'll say a lot of wrong shit and Ooh. you don't pick up it on it on the time and then you listen back to it and you're like, fucking, that's yeah. the fucking wrong one thing. One of us would have said something and we'd be like, what? Mate, Does you go sense? get Punkin. anyone. You go get anyone, tell them to talk for fucking an hour and a half, three times a week and not fuck up once. I agree oh. with you, mate. You know? Right. I agree with you. Just pronounce shit, fuck stats up, whatever. Oh, okay. God, do you, like us trying to do mass and shit. Oh, it's just shocking. It's just fucked. Absolutely shocking. Um, boys, that'll that'll probably, that'll do us with the hotlines. Yeah, I've got mm. a meeting very Soon. Oh, okay. Okay, Mama. We'll so get you sorry. there. We'll get I'll you there. I'll get an Uber. Uh, so easy. No, I'll drive you. No, you won't have time. Yeah, I will. It's 20 minutes. Stick around. You'll be fine. Okay. Um, Parents are fighting again. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> boys. Sorry, <laughs> kids. <laughs> sorry, kids. <laughs> mm, sorry. Um, fucking real pleasure to have you blokes Thank on. You. This right, is, um, Thank you. It's a fucking honour to come on first guest. How so glad, yeah. yeah, that you were the first guest. It's been yeah. pretty special. Very fun. Um, everyone go and check out the Alpha Blokes podcast. TikTok, um, Instagram. TikTok, Insta, all the good all stuff. That. You'll see their clips. Mm. Suss out the boys. They do a wonderful job. Very funny, a lot, very informative at a lot of times, um, and it's been a pleasure to have you on, fellas. Thank like, you. really, Jeez. really has. Just quickly, it. thanks, it's been guys. fucking unreal to watch you guys succeed as well, and yeah, I'm thanks, on, mate. honestly pumped for you. Thank and, you, mate. And yes. I think you should be like that to watch other people kicking ass, and it's just yeah. great to see people out there having a crack and doing shit for themselves. So, fucking congratulations no. on what you guys are doing too. Love it. Thanks, bruh. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Tommy Cam, what a pleasure. Bloody good. Bedwetters, keep pissing. Keep pissing. Hooroo, chow chow. Hooroo, chow chow. Stay out of yourselves. <laughs>